What up, you guys? Slim here at Team Purple Panda. Uh, I'm here to do um, a video on what a lot of people have been requesting to me. I have multiple people that have requested this idea to me. So all I can do is I'm going to say as a whole, just shout out to all my subscribers because I can't literally name all the people that have asked me to do a video and my thoughts on this product. But I said I would do it later. I'm doing it now because, you know, it's fresh in my mind. Plus, you know, I just I, I have a lot to say. So bear with me. Uh, we're going to talk about the new Legendary Collection 2. Um, people don't know, this is going to be one of the most broken things to ever come out in this game it's going to change the game for so many players and I have a lot of thoughts on this and um, like I had said like in my last video uh, I feel something something is up with Konami something is going on and I feel that it needs to be addressed I'm gonna give my ideas of what I think is going on and you know bear with me because I mean these are just my thoughts as a player and I want everyone to give me a lot of feedback I want this video to get a lot of views I might even make this my last video of the day um, just to see the views go up and then you know I'll take all my requests and do the rest of them tomorrow um, but people need to watch this so let's get into this real quick so for people who don't know uh, there's a product coming out called Legendary Collection 2 The Dual Academy Years it's going to be released um, October 4th 2011 so we do have quite a w uh, ways to wait but until then people are just going crazy about what you get so I'm going to read straight from the Yu-Gi-Oh! website what's going on so here's the thing uh, Legendary Collection 2 um, collects 279 of the most popular cards from the GX era, which is 2005 to 2008. They decide to wait uh, over three years later to bring back GX, which is really weird. Each box contains 58 cards in all, including 28 foil cards. Uh, guaranteed in this thing, you will get um, all three Sacred Beasts, Uriah, Harmon, and Raviel. These Sacred Beasts were hidden away beneath Dual Academy so that no one could... Oh, who the fuck cares? You know, like, they're telling us why they were locked away. You know, they were, they were like, the dumbest monsters ever. Like, honestly, like, their shit was so stupid. If anyone watched the episodes, like, they're on demand. They were so dumb. Like, they got rid of them. It was whatever. Um, the thing that shocked me is all three Dark Lord prize cards are guaranteed. Uh, Dark Lord Os Osmodius, uh, Dark Lord uh, Super... Uh, Super Sub, Superbia and Dark Lord uh, Ida Array. Um, if people don't know, these monsters were only available for championship level prizes. They were the cards you got when you won a YCS. Here's my first problem. Why on earth are they releasing these cards to the public? Does anyone have any idea how hard it is to win a YCS? Like, to win it all, and now you're just giving them away? Oh my god, Konami, what the fuck is your problem? Like, it, I, I can't even, I can't even, you know, think of a thought, because that's how ridiculous this sounds. Prize cards that were awarded to some of the best players who worked their ass off to get to not only the top tables, but to win it all. Do you understand that after nine rounds, they have to go to the top eight, they have to do the top four, they have to do the final two. That's 12 fucking rounds, and now, after working that hard and getting the prizes, you're giving them out in a fucking collection that's for children you know like this collection GX and shit isn't for us you guys this is for the kids and I mean it's cool you know kids aren't gonna know what to do with these monsters you know like honestly it, I, I don't get it like something's wrong here but I said I'll get more into that later but let's continue with what else you get so you get those ridiculous prize card monsters I don't even want to get into it you get seven new GX ultra rare cards cyber uh, larva lion alligator spawn alligator elemental hero great tornado uh, thumbs up Konami that one's actually good along with parallel parallel world fusion so you kinda did good there I mean I'm not gonna even give you a full thumbs up I'll give you some side thumbs because for what you did before this, I, I can't even forgive that. So, um, these new cards can be found anywhere else. So, I mean, you're only going to be able to get them in the Legendary Collection. Or, yeah. Um, they can power up all kinds of decks, dragons, fairies, reptiles, plus a new e hero monster and parallel fusion. Even lets you fusion summon your elemental heroes using monsters that have been banished from the game. So, that means removed from the play. Okay, whatever. Sounds good. Go heroes. Um, the next thing is you get five legendary collection two mega packs. They're a brand new kind of pack, unlike anything you've ever seen before. Ooh! Each mega pack has at least one card of every rarity from its set. That means that every legendary collection two mega pack has one secret rare, one ultra rare, one super rare, one rare plus five commons in every pack. And you get five of these packs in every legendary collection two. The nine cards in each mega pack are from a unique 266 card mega set created specifically for legendary collection two 
This mega set includes the greatest monsters from the GX era, including E Heroes, D Heroes, Evil Heroes, Neo Spaceships, Crystal Beasts, and Cyber Dragons, plus the top. GX era tournament cards including Gladiator, Beast, Lightshorn, Six Samurai, and more. Here are some of the highlights, you guys, and here's where uh, we're going to get into some uh, some critical stuff. Almost every single hero card is all in one place. Elemental Hero, D Hero, Evil Hero, for people who want to make those. Here we go, you guys. Bear with me, because this is actually really hard for me to read. Easy to get common versions of some of the most popular cards ever, including... Thunder King Ryo, Judgment Dragon, Gateway of the Six, Elemental Hero Stratos, Mizuki, and DD Survivor. All those cards are coming as common, you guys. Um, we're getting common Thunder Kings, common Judgment Dragons, common Gateways. I don't care about the other two, uh, but cards that used to be really hard to get are now worth pennies. Konami, what the fuck are you doing? I'll continue on. Um, shiny foil versions of popular cards come to jazz up your deck. Uh, Instant Fusion, Future Fusion, Hydro Ganon, Macro Cosmos, uh, D Prison. So D Prison's getting re released. Uh, Hollow Crow kind of makes me happy, DD Crow. So they're all ultra rares or super rares. You get secret rare versions of Necro Gardena, Super Poly, Destiny Draw, Phantom of Chaos, Dimensional Fissure, which I think is pretty cool, Banisher of Radiance, and there's other ones. Foil versions of the most popular Gladiator Beasts, including Bestiari, Darius, Aquest. Heraclinos, Haplomus, Lakari, Mermilo, and Secutor, plus Test Tiger and Gladiator Beast War Chariot. So basically, if you weren't able to build a Gladiator Beast deck, now you'll be able to, and it'll be all blinged out, so that's pretty cool. A brand new Gladiator Beast monster, Gladiator Beast Lanista. He's already being played in the OCG. Go check out the website to figure out what he does. There's foil versions of top end Lightshorn monsters, so they're foiling out Jane, Lumina, and Arcus, which, you know, Arcus was already hollow, but okay. Um, five variant art cards, including Elemental Hero Avion, Burst of Interest of Sparkman, plus Cyber Dragon, Cyber and Dragon. I honestly think they're finally re-releasing the Cyber Dragon that was, you know, had the alternate art, which I guess is pretty cool. Um, you can also get, uh, Dark End Dragon, Light End Dragon, so I mean, if you didn't have them, you'll have them now. And they're actually, this is the one thing I think that's actually kind of cool. They're releasing the... Venom Inaga, the de the deity of poisonous snakes, which was that really really hard secret rare reptile monster to get. They made the whole deck like crazy. It was like one of the most expensive cards around. It's finally coming out, so everyone will have it. Um, Dark Lord Desire to team up with the other three Dark Lords. All six of the original six samurai plus Grandmaster of the Six and Great Shogun Sheen, Gallus of the Star Beast, and Darkness Destroyer released in North America for the first time ever. All cards are printed with updated text. It's easier to understand. Um, don't forget, with one Secret Rare, one Ultra, and one Super Rare in each of your packs, this is your best chance ever to get the foil cards you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It tells you exactly what it's going to include. It includes the Dark Lords. It includes the the Sacred Beasts. It includes all those other cards I told you about, plus the all the five other packs. So, yada, yada, yada. All right, you guys. We're getting to the point where I have to say some shit, because this is ridiculous. To little kids who play this game enjoy this this is basically all for you you know you're getting all of the best stuff possible and you'll be able to make the decks you want you'll get to have fun and enjoy the game I have no problem with that so that's for the kids in case kids watch this video now kids you know I'd go away from the from YouTube right now I don't want you to hear the rest of what I have to say because it could ruin the game for you but I'm gonna address all my fellow players and all pro players around the world right now you guys what the fuck is Konami doing something is wrong and I've been trying to figure it out. I got texts last night from friends telling me about this. And, you know, I knew I was going to make a video about this today. I didn't know it would be so soon, but I'm glad it is. Something is wrong, you guys. They're reprinting Duality. They're reprinting Christia. They're reprinting Gaia. They're reprinting Fossil Dunder. They're reprinting Thunder King Ryo as a common. That's such a slap in the face. I mean, I, I can't even get into a, you know, like, even into a description of how, what a slap in the face that is for so many players. And... You know, it's giving me a headache, like, honestly, like, time out, you guys, I actually gotta take a drink, like, I'm, like, literally, like, I'm not, I'd say pissed, I'm just so disappointed right now in this game. And I know something's wrong. So here are my honest thoughts, you guys. Konami has gotten to the point where they've made enough money, but they're gonna make more. They're gonna reprint all the shit that we spent hundreds on just to make us get it again or make new players pick it up and spend tons of money and they will just sit back and profit off us that's number one number two they want to make it so that like i said they can push the x seeds and the heroes and everything that the show had to do with it you guys gx has been over since 08 you know what 
it's been three years. No one cares anymore. So, you know, aside from Heroes, you know, they're releasing all this stuff that no one gives a damn about. Most of this collection is going to be shit that you're going to try to hawk off in your binder. And, you know, honestly, it's not going to happen. So, you know, on that topic of binders, you guys, I honestly think the profit in this game for us is being taken away. Think about it. How much money or trades have you guys made off, off uh, trading, you know, Thunder King, Ryos, Elemental Heroes, um you know, super polys, pot of dualities, Christie's, you know, all these high-end cards now are going to be common, rare, I mean, uh, super rare, and I mean, it, it's just sickening. The profit in this game, I think, is finally gone, you guys. I know I made videos on how to make money in this game, and you know, honestly, I think Konami has gotten wise to all of us and has said, you know what, we're the only ones that are going to make money, you're going to buy our shit, you're going to like it, and you know what, unfortunately, that's where we stand right now. Um, you know, I'm so hurt, I think, not by this game at all, because I love this game. This is one of my favorite games in the world. I'm hurt by Konami because they're slapping us in the face, you guys. All of us have worked so hard over the years to, you know, acquire the cards we have, and now they're making it so easy. Like I said before, for little kids and ki uh, people who enjoy this game for fun, this will help you so much. I'm not even going to get into it. But this section of this video is is just for everyone else out there. I want you guys to watch the video. I really want you to listen to what I'm saying. You know, rewind it if you have to hear it. Something is up. Konami is, you know, just messing with us. I think they're on to the fact that we're making profit too and they want to be the only ones that make profit. So that's what I think is happening here um, as far as this game goes. The last thing I have to say on it is my only beam of light that I see, you know, like the light at the end of the tunnel, the only thing I see possibly good about all of this, and if this is Konami's true intention, then I'm okay with what they're doing. They're trying to make our metagame as balanced as the OCG is. For people who don't know, duality's been reprinted like four times out there, warning is common, stuff is easy to get out there. Maybe they finally decided that now it's our turn to have a really balanced metagame where everybody can play at the same level with the same cards. And honestly, I really hope that's what it is, because I would hate to find out that it's only because they're trying to make a profit while we waste money. Money. And that's all I'm going to say, you guys. You know, I, I, I don't know what else to say. Honestly, I'm like I said, I'm hurt by Konami, not by any player, not by this game at all, but by what has been happening to this game over the years. And I know a lot of people are going to talk about this. I know some people are thrilled for this product. I'm actually kind of thrilled for this product just because, you know, it's cool. It's cool to have new stuff, but it, it's not fair. You know, it's not fair to the players who have dedicated so much time and money and effort into this game. But, you know, at the end of the day, I can't make a difference. I can only, you know, tell you guys what I think and hopefully people agree with me and see what I'm talking about. Like I said, there's nothing negative about this. I'm saying the only people that this seems to be benefiting is Konami, if you really analyze it like I have. Um, that's all I got to say, you guys. This was a really important video. I'm glad I made it. I'm going to take a break for a while because I'm just like, I'm not in the mood to make videos right now. Like, I need to take a break, finish my drink then you know come back and everything will be cool please watch this video guys please rate comment subscribe this is so important for everyone to understand um i you know like everyone knows my channel is you know everything this game related and then some so this is one of those videos please watch this uh please rate comment subscribe please leave me feedback i want a lot of feedback on this video i want my inbox to be filled with messages about this video. So um, this is Slim from Team Purple Panda just saying um, Legendary Collection is coming out in October. We have some time to wait, but it will change the metagame forever. I think something's up with Konami. I've given all the thoughts I can, and I just hope this is helps uh, my fellow players in figuring out what's going on in this game. That's all i got to say, you guys. Um, you know, Please watch this video. Thank you for watching.